People who rely on SNAP benefits to stretch their food budgets are being hit by the government shutdown. First News reporter Amanda Smith explains across our area it's a huge concern. While Job and Family Services has weathered shutdowns before, this is now the longest in history, and that's making things difficult across the country. Uncharted territory. We've never had a shutdown go on so long that it actually impacted what we were doing. The shutdown means the USDA won't be able to spend money for the SNAP program, also known as food stamps. So JFS is taking steps to help people as much as possible. They're going to get February's in January, so they need to budget it through February. And due to the government shutdown, we don't know what will happen for March, so they really have to be careful. The shutdown will hurt the most vulnerable in the area. We have 40,000 recipients of food assistance in Mahoning County, 16,000 of which are children. A lot of those folks are our disabled population. They literally survive on those monies. In the meantime, workers at JFS are on overtime shifts trying to get through the backlog of cases and get people approved before the money runs out. We're staying the course. We are authorizing as many cases as possible by January 20th. Um, we're working a little over to do that. There aren't any plans for what will happen if the shutdown continues through March. In Youngstown, Amanda Smith, WKBN 27 First News.